it's a, it's obviously a priority. You know, we're student athletes. The word student does come first, um, and, and they they make that pretty clear from the get go. Um, they do a really good job at uh, making sure that we're on task and um, checking in with us and making sure that we're meeting with our teachers, our professors, um, making sure that we are obtaining the necessary grades and that we are pushing ourselves in the classroom because the ultimate goal is to obtain a degree. Uh, and, and we define character as being where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to be doing it. Toughness is when you're there, whether it's on the court, in the weight room, uh, in class, meeting with a tutor, an SI, grinding for success. It's, it's huge. It's always been important to Coach Wilson. It's important to our staff, and, and I think our guys, they know the importance of doing the best they can in the classroom. You can't have casualties, we call them. Um, which is slacking off in academics. If you don't get your study hall hours, you know, if you don't get to practice, so that's just the way that uh, Coach Wilson runs things, which is the right way. Tremendous uh, resources here on campus, starting um, with Jennifer Baker and her department. We work hand in hand with her, but each assistant coach has check-in kits. So uh, guys are checking into our office every day. Uh, we talk to them every day about how they're doing with their, their schoolwork. And so they're getting hit from a, multiple directions. I think it's one of the reasons that the academic culture here is so special. Our side of it is student athlete services. The primary focus is on academic success services for the student athletes. So we do a lot of academic monitoring, how they're doing in their classes, making sure that they're going to classes, turning in assignments. If they're struggling, we have a bank of tutors that are available just for the student athletes as well as learning assistants for students that are really struggling or come into college underprepared. Um, so all of our new students are required with six hours of study hall and then after your first semester you can have varying hours based on your GPA. I like to really develop a relationship with my professors and I like to uh, meet with the SI, so uh, with tutors if I ever need any, any help because I love to ask questions, I love to gain a true understanding of the material that I'm handed. Well, the teachers are great about uh, working with us all the time. Um, we have Ms. Baker and everybody over there um, at Classroom East to help us out whenever we need it. Um, but there is plenty of resources through, through athletics that we find that can help us with the academic side of everything. It's all about time management and that's something that we preach. And especially now it's, it's not as bad, but when season starts we got games, we got travel, and people just don't understand how much school we really miss and how much, I guess, learning opportunities that we do miss. Really it's just, I just take it out of my social life. It'll be pretty much if I got a lot of tests or something, I'll just go to the gym and then go work on my homework until if I have time when I'm finished then I can like hang out with someone. But if I have to do something, I just spend my time on that and don't waste it. Primarily, most of our student athletes, 99% of them are not going to go on and play their sport professionally. So it's very important that they have an academic background, leave here with a college degree and the experience necessary to go out into the workforce in their intended career um, so that they'll be accessible. I, I would love to play professional basketball, but I'm also not naive and I realize that uh, business route is probably more my thing. You know, to me, I think it's the, of the utmost importance because just everybody's one bad moment away from having to rely on something else for the rest of their life. Well, after my basketball career is over, I tend, intend to go to uh, medical school and uh, become an orthopedic surgeon. I'm trying to be an actuary, which is like doing statistics for insurance companies, help them figure out how many times a certain thing's gonna happen. I mean, for the longest time I wanted to coach, wanted to teach, and now I'm working on my master's in education administration. Um, it helps that we've got a school that can accommodate student athletes in a lot of different directions, whether it's business or engineering or in the sciences or math, whatever it is, you know, we're, we're in it, at an institution that um, has, a, you know, a lot to offer, so that helps.